Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and this video is about how to create a virtual network inside of VirtualBox. In part one, I showed how to create a virtual web server. In this section, we're going to create the network and then attach both a web server and a desktop to the virtual network. The outcomes for this video would be to locate a VirtualBox user manual. That really helps in setting up the virtual network because we have to use VBox Manage. Locate the Oracle VirtualBox directory on your computer. And then create a VirtualBox virtual network with VBox Manager. You're going to have to use a command line. This outcome uses Ubuntu with a Windows 7 host, but you can use any kind of machine as a host and uh, any kind of machine as a guest for this setup. And then I'm going to attach both the virtual web server guest and the virtual desktop guest to the virtual network. And then finally verify that virtual network operation works by having the virtual desktop access the virtual web server. Requirements, a virtual web server and a virtual desktop. Enough random access memory or RAM to run one, your virtual server, two, a virtual desktop, and three, your host operating system. And host hardware that supports virtualization. And it really is helpful if the host has a multiprocessor CPU central processing unit that has more than one processor. Now this demonstration uses Ubuntu 13.10 web server with 512 megabytes of memory and an Ubuntu 13.10 desktop with 768 megabytes of memory and, and a Windows 7 host which requires at least a gigabyte of memory. So kind of calculate what you need for your own setup and you've got to add all three together and make sure that all three are less than what you have on your host machine as far as memory or RAM is concerned. Additional info, here is the uh, link to VirtualBox virtual network section of the manual and then of course you've got the entire manual if you want to download it and then it, I've got some links to Cisco quick and easy subnetting and Cisco quick and easy subnetting. Just additional info that you may want to get some background in. I just basically go over the commands without explaining a whole bunch of things because it, it can get complicated in a hurry. While I've researched this material, I can't fully verify that it will work with all combinations of hardware and software out. So I've been asked to include a disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop the video and read the disclaimer. In order to create a virtual network in VirtualBox, it's really helpful to have the VirtualBox manual open. In this case, uh, this is creating virtual network is not something that you can do with a graphical user interface VirtualBox manager. In this case, we go right here to virtualbox.org manual 06.html pound network.net service, which is 6.4 network address translation service. Once we've got that open, then gives a list of different commands that you can use with VBox Manage. In order to use VBox Manage, you have to go to the command line of your computer. In this case, I've got a Windows 7 computer, and I'm in Program Files, and so I'm going to go to CD Oracle, because VirtualBox is an Oracle application these days. It used to be Sun. So now I'm in the Oracle directory. If I want to to a DIR, I'll see that I've got VirtualBox. So I want to go to CD VirtualBox. If I do a DIR, I've got a list of uh, all the different files that are in the VirtualBox directory. But if I want to create a virtual network, it's very simple. The easiest way to do that is to copy it right out of the VirtualBox manual. It's 6.4. And this will right here, VBox Manage, Net Network Add, dash T. And here you want to put in your name where it says NAT dash INT dash Network. You can put in your own name, dash N. And 192.168, you can, right there it says 15, we can put in something else, 0 slash 24. And that will create uh, 254, well, I think it's 253 addresses because we're not using 0 or 255 and then dash E. So just let's copy this and we'll put it right into go to the command line right here and paste. And let me expand this a little way so you can see the whole whole item and bring it. And one thing I want to do is change a name. So I'm just going to use the arrow key to come over here 
and I'm just going to call it Net Network. You can use whatever name you want. And another thing I'm just going to change is just to, instead of 15, I'm going to say, oh, 48. Just, just to show you what can be changed here. But you want, need to leave the 162.168 and then that zero there. And then basically what this creates is a local area network using 192.168.48 and then uh, 253, 254 uh, computers can hook onto it uh, using 48.1, 48.2, 48 48.3, 48 uh, so forth, all the way up to 0.254. and simply come to the end of the line and hit enter. Additional thing you have to have on there on this network is a DHCP server because what that will do will allow each virtual machine on this virtual network to have their own address on the LAN. In order to do that let me move this back over here. I can just copy this right here. It says if to add a DHCP server after creation simply copy this and then paste. If you want to do it with one step here is the uh, command right here to do it with one step and dash H and dash on and dash H and then ON. But I did it in two steps. Copy and again I'm going to just paste and move it back over so you can kind of see what's going on and then just simply hit enter. Okay, you see the mistake I made. I paste. I have to change the name to a uh, network that actually exists, the one that we that I had just previously created. And then hit enter. And so now the network is created, and you also see that if you make a mistake, something you get, you get an error message. Now, one other thing that you may want to be aware of, if, if if you're playing around with this and you make some mistakes or something like that, there's one right here is to delete the NAT network service, and I'm not going to delete it right now because I'm going to attach both a server, web server, and a desktop to this network, and demonstrate that this network works. Now I've just created a network, a virtual network, and now I'm going to attach two machines to this, a web server and a desktop. Before I do, let's create a group to put them to in. Group. And then I'm going to add this one, base Ubuntu SS01, into that group. And then I'm going to rename the group. And simply call it virtual network group. So now I've got a group with both a, a LAMP, Ubuntu, a web server, and a base Ubuntu, which is a desktop. To attach these computers to the uh, virtual network that has just been created, click on Network. And right here we'll go to NAT Network. And right here is the name of the network. You may have different uh, networks created and that will be this right here. Just simply click OK. Then go to the desktop. Again, network. Net network. And then choose what's that, choose the same network. It has to be exactly the same network. Now keep in mind that you have to have when you if you're going to be running this virtual network you have to have enough memory to run both of these machines and your host operating system in this case I've got a desktop that's got 756 megabytes that's running with 756 megabytes of memory and it's using two processors because I've got a multiprocessor computer but you can, you can run it with one it'll still work and a web server that's running with 512 megabytes of memory. It doesn't have a graphical user interface, so it doesn't need as much memory. And again, it's using two processors. I'm using 
Ubuntu 13.10, but you can use any machine. It doesn't even have to be Ubuntu to set up this virtual network. We've got both machines attached to the virtual network. I'm just simply going to start both machines. And I'll come back when we get them both running. Now to verify that virtual network is working, I've got two machines running here. I've got a web server on the left and a desktop on the right. So let's go to the web server. I can get my mouse in there and get it to focus. The web server, I want to do an IF config. Basically, put your mouse inside there and hit enter and it'll focus or click on the mouse, it'll focus. An IF config, if you look at the IP address, you'll notice that it's 192.168.48. It's just, we created a local area network with that .48 address and with the DHC dynamic host configuration protocol server, it gave us the address of 5 on that uh, 48 LAN. So if you want to verify that this one is also, we'll just type in terminal. Terminal. And here's a terminal. Open that up. And we're and so this one is 0.48.4 so it's on the same network as the server I'm just going to minimize that let's open up the web browser the Firefox web browser and we'll see that the web server verify that the web server is working so here's our Firefox web browser and we're going to put in the IP address of the web server 192.168.48.5 hit enter and you see it works so now I have a virtual network running inside VirtualBox the network is totally inside VirtualBox and now this is something if you want to you know play with and this is really great for students to set up networks and play around with them without really screwing up your external network now you also see that we do can get to the outside here and I will just hit Google and you can see that it still goes outside. If I go to the uh, web server and verify that it can go to outside, I'll just do a sudo apt get update which will oh I spelled apt get wrong. Got me. Must ha I must be having a bad spelling day. Pseudo app get, and you can see that it's uh, pulling up the uh, updates from the internet. So virtual networking is really a nice tool, and I would have really appreciated having something like this when I was working with my students. Thank you.